All right, guys, so we got to talk about another big story involving Elon Musk that, in my opinion, right, I'm going to characterize as a part of the Trumpification of Elon Musk, okay? And some of you guys may be asking, well, what does that mean? What do, what do you mean by the Trumpification of Elon Musk? Well, it's very simple. Uh, the Trumpification of Elon Musk is simply the Democrat Party and the mainstream media trying to make Elon Musk the next Donald Trump, right? And what does that mean by making him the next Donald Trump? Well, what that means is that they're trying to make him a political enemy, somebody that they can rally around and attack because right now the Democrat Party is epically failing this country and the liberal media is epically failing because nobody's watching them anymore, right? A whole lot of Democrats have checked out of politics because quite honestly, there's really nothing good happening. Okay, so the people that are getting the most viewership right now are the people that really are against the Democrat Party, right? That are actively going after the Democrat Party and calling out the BS and the nonsense, right? The supporters of the Democrat Party don't really want to pay attention to what's going on because what's going on is bad, right? So they've checked out, okay? Uh, in the last four years, guys, when Trump was president, uh, that was the heyday of the mainstream liberal media because they had a right-wing figure, a political enemy, uh, to attack, right? And that political enemy was Donald Trump. He was somebody that they could rally the base behind to go after and say that this is the worst person ever, right? He is like the Antichrist, okay? That, that's kind of what he was to the mainstream liberal media in the Democrat Party. And that worked, okay? People became millionaires just hating on Trump. They became millionaires just being in his mentions on Twitter, okay? People made careers off hating Trump, okay? The guy was a money print machine for the haters, okay? So with that being said, now that Trump is not president, they need a new Trump. They need a new guy that can help them make some money, right? And you've seen them try to Trumpify a lot of different figures uh, who aren't necessarily even right wing, uh, over the past year or so, ever since Trump left office, because they need a new guy. Trump not being in office, uh, it makes it hard to attack him and to go after him because he's just simply not as relevant as he used to be when he was president of the United States. That's just the fact, right? Which is why the mainstream liberal media and their ratings are suffering. They don't have a guy to attack anymore. So they try to make people like Tucker Carlson, oh, he's the new Trump, right? They try to make him the new Trump. They try to make Joe Rogan the new Trump, right? Now they're trying to make Elon Musk the new Trump. Right. Uh, so with that being said, uh, Elon Musk did a little bit of foreshadowing about some of the uh, allegations that were going to come out against him over a year ago, almost exactly a year ago uh, that we're going to get into. As he tweeted on May 25th, 2021, that, quote, if there's ever a scandal against me, please call it Elon Gate. Right. I wonder what he's alluding to. OK, this was almost a year ago. And then if you guys remember. Uh, he came out uh, two days ago on May 18th and announced that he's going to vote for Republicans, right, in the midterms, okay, uh, because the Democrats uh, have become the party of hate and division, right? And now all of a sudden, um, <laughs> Elon Musk has officially kind of become a Republican. They already tried to make him out to be a right-wing figure, but he stated previously that he voted for mostly Democrats, right? He kind of was in the same mold as Bill Maher, Joe Rogan, but, you know, he never formally said that, hey, you know what, I, I voted Republican or that I'm voting Republican. Now that he's officially announced that he's voting Republican, you know now the attacks are going to ramp up because he's now officially on the other side, right? Again, according to the mainstream liberal media, Elon Musk, predicted this after he tweeted this about voting Republican. He says, political attacks on me will, will escalate dramatically in coming months. This is May 18th. Lo and behold, Elon Musk now has me to allegations that have been levied against him by a flight attendant for SpaceX, <laughs> right? So nobody should be surprised here, okay? I mean, again, this is the same thing that happened with Trump, right? When Trump ran for president, Okay, all of a sudden he became a racist. Okay, all of a sudden he had Me Too allegations come out against him, right? This is what happens when you become political. Uh, people start digging in your closet and they start pulling out all types of skeletons. So we're going to read about these allegations because I, I actually have some opinions on this stuff 
uh, that I want to talk about and uh, get into it because, again, nobody should be surprised by this, right? They already tried to stick the racism allegations on Elon Musk because Tesla had settled with uh, one of their former employees uh, because allegedly, you know, uh, there was some racism going on at the, at the company. He was being called an N-word, et cetera, et cetera. And they're trying to attach that to Elon Musk and say that he's a racist because, <laughs> you know, uh, he settled a, a, a lawsuit that alleged racism in the workplace. So they tried to throw that against him. That didn't stick. So now, again, here comes the Me Too allegations. However, Elon Musk is denying the quote-unquote wild allegations against him in an apparent reference to harassment report. So let's read about this. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk said in a tweet late Thursday that wild accusations against him are untrue. He did not explain what those accusations were, but his response came after a Business Insider report on Thursday said the aerospace company had paid $250,000 in severance to a private jet flight attendant who accused the billionaire of sexual misconduct. The report, which cited interviews and documents obtained by insiders, said that the woman claimed that during a massage she was giving Elon Musk, he exposed his erect penis, touched her thigh without her consent, and offered to buy her a horse if she performed sex acts. NBC could not independently verify those allegations. All right. So, um, as you guys just heard, uh, this is what she's accusing Elon Musk of. Okay. Now, you know, I, I got questions about this. I, I don't necessarily know if this is true or not, but I feel like, <laughs> you know, it, it's just funny how this stuff comes out a day after the man announced that he was voting Republican. I don't think that that is a coincidence. Okay. Because this could have came out when he announced that he was buying Twitter. The, the woke left was mad at him for that, right? The Democrat Party was mad at him for that. They could have dropped these allegations during that time. But to me, it seems that him coming out and saying that he would vote Republican was the straw that broke the camel's back, right? That may have led to these allegations coming out, okay? So let's read a little bit more here. Musk, without referring directly to the report, tweeted that, quote, for the record, those wild accusations are utterly untrue. Quote, the attacks against me should be viewed through a political lens. This is their standard despicable playbook, he tweeted. He is right about that. It is their playbook. This is the exact playbook that uh, they go by when they're trying to take down a political enemy, right? They've, they are trying to trumpify uh, Elon Musk. Inside reported that the alleged incident occurred in Musk's room aboard a SpaceX jet on a flight to London in late 2016 after the world's richest person asked her to give him a, quote, full body massage. CNBC reached out to Musk and SpaceX for comment on those allegations, but did not immediately hear back. Insider did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Musk told Insider there was a lot more to this story as he asked the publication for more time to respond to the article's claims, according to the outlet. If I are inclined to engage in sexual harassment, this is unlikely to be the first time in my entire 30-year career that it comes to light. Uh, Musk reportedly wrote, uh, insider. He also said its article was a politically motivated hit piece <laughs> outlet reported. Again, he sounded a whole lot like Trump, right? Elon Musk sounded a whole lot like Trump right now. Uh, Christopher Kardashian, legal affairs vice president at SpaceX, was quoted by Insider as saying, quote, I'm not going to comment on any settlement agreements. The Insider report comes as Musk, who is also CEO of Tesla, is engaged in an effort to purchase social media giant Twitter. The allegations reported Thursday are detailed in a declaration signed by a friend of the flight attendant. The declaration was made to support a complaint that the woman's lawyer had made to SpaceX's uh, Human Resources Department in 2018 after she felt that her work opportunities at the company dwindled after she declined to engage in sexual conduct with Musk, according to Insider. Okay, so to me, <laughs> right, uh, they're saying that this incident happened in 2016, but she didn't make the complaint, I guess, formally with the Human Resource Department until 2018, so almost two years later. And she's doing this because she felt like that her opportunities at work dwindled uh, after refusing to, you know, do what Elon Musk allegedly asked her to do. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't know. Here's what I'll say about this stuff. I don't understand when these super rich people get caught up with these allegations because, look, 
if I had that much money, right, um, I would deal with professionals, right? Professionals who are paid to be quiet, right? Whose careers depend on their ability not to speak about this stuff. Um, I have a hard time believing that somebody with so much money, Elon Musk, uh, would mess around with a employee um, when he could just hire a professional and never have to worry about allegations like this, right? A professional who will happily give him a, a massage and, you know, whatever else he's probably looking for, okay? Why even deal with somebody like this at all when you simply don't have to, right? And you can expose yourself to these type of allegations. I really don't get it. Right, which makes it hard for me to believe this, right? It makes me hard to me believe the allegations at face value. But with that being said, um, like any other story, I think that the truth is probably in the middle in regards to what actually happened, right? The truth is probably in the middle, okay? But again, I, I don't know. I'm just saying that I, I, I'm surprised that these rich people get caught up in this stuff because it's just like, it's totally avoidable, right? Totally avoidable uh, for the most part. But again, that, with that being said, I'm not saying that he actually did anything. I don't know because, you know, women do make these type of claims and, uh, you know, more times than people think they're lying, right? So I don't know. Neither the friend who spoke with Insider nor the woman who declined to be interviewed by the publication was identified by name in the article. The SpaceX flight attendant signed a non-disclosure agreement as a part of her settlement with SpaceX, according to a report. Insider reported that the friend said the flight attendant told her the story about Musk shortly after it happened. And the outlet reported that the friend said she decided to reveal the woman's allegations without first asking the flight attendant because she felt obliged as a survivor of sexual assault to disclose the claim against Musk. So um, the friend of the woman that did the allegation is the one that actually is making the claim. So it's not the friend herself. Which means that the woman telling her friend, uh, that's a violation of the non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> Which means that Elon Musk should probably sue this woman for disclosing this stuff if that was a part of the non-disclosure agreement not to say anything. Let's read a little bit more here. Insider reported that the flight attendant's complaint to SpaceX HR department was resolved quickly after a session with a mediator that Musk personally attended. The news outlet said Musk, SpaceX, and the flight attendant in November 2018 entered into an agreement to have the woman pay $250,000 in severance in exchange for promising not to file a lawsuit connected to her claim. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> sounds to me like Elon Musk needs to get his money back, right? Even though it's $250,000, which is nothing to him, right? It's just like, what, a dollar, not even, right, in comparison to his net worth. He need to get his money back because that flight attendant, regardless of what happened, she agreed not to say anything about it if, again, she went by standard non-disclosure agreement, which means you, you don't disclose it to anybody, right? And you're not going to sue. If she told a friend who then went to this outlet, this publication, to say something, um, yeah, he, he needs to go get his money back, right? Because she broke the agreement, okay? Uh, and, and, and on top of that, yeah, I just find this, again, to be more than a coincidence that this allegation comes out again as this man is become becoming more political as he's you know overtly saying that hey i'm gonna vote republican that there's no doubt in my mind that the democratic and slash liberal media establishment went fishing uh and you know searching this man's closet and pulled out these allegations lo and behold they found a friend of a friend right that knows about an incident that she allegedly had with elon musk right look what happened to madison cawthorn when he crossed the establishment, right? When he accused the politicians of engaging in <laughs> drugs, okay, and, and sexual activities, um, they pulled a plug on him. Dude ended up losing his race. He ended up losing his uh, house seat because of that. But, you know, Elon Musk is a billionaire uh, who owns, you know, SpaceX, or Tesla, some of the most valuable companies in the world. It's not going to be as easy to cancel him as it will be to cancel somebody like uh, Madison Cawthorn. Uh, in fact, I actually think that this is going to make Elon Musk even stronger because, you know, like Trump, uh, when the Democrat establishment starts attacking somebody incessantly who's against them, who they made a political enemy, it just makes people actually rally around that person and it makes them stronger, right? Who knows? Uh, the, the country, uh, MAGA country, <laughs> might start pulling up with the cyber trucks. They might become uh, Elon Musk's number, number one customer, despite what the liberals tell us about how 
uh, MAGA can't afford uh, Teslas. I, I don't think that's true, right? I think that uh, Elon Musk is, is going to have a whole lot more orders for his Cybertruck <laughs> because of uh, the tax from the mainstream liberal media. But we'll see. I don't know if these allegations are true. Again, I think it's more than a coincidence that this is coming out now because, again, this type of stuff could have came out a long time ago. The dude has been famous for a long time. But now that he's just become overtly political, uh, again, I don't think this is a coincidence this stuff is coming out now. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.